A nationwide ban on evictions expires December 31st, and if Congress doesn't act, millions could be at risk of losing their housing. Our Ricardo, Ricardo Coronado looks at the rental assistance that's available right now in today's Rebound Idaho. The pandemic has some Idaho renters struggling to pay rent, but the Idaho Housing Finance Association says the housing preservation program still has funding to help. It does not assist homeowners that have a mortgage, uh, but it does assist a variety of renters. So it could be somebody renting a portion of a home or a full rental unit. The key deadline looms. The Idaho Housing Finance Association will stop taking applications on December 11th. Well, we started this program back in the middle of June and right from the get go every week, we had an increase in applications an increase in the funds dispersed every week. It just went up and up and up. Um, and uh, now that we're winding down, we expect, you know, another jump in, uh, in interest in the program. Uh, we hope that's the case. The program has helped thousands of people across the state. So we have been able to assist about 4,300 households, which is nearly 14,000 individuals with rental assistance and utility assistance. And that has been somewhere around, uh, I would say $12.5 million that has been dispersed to assist that, uh, that group of individuals. Center for Disease Control and Prevention's current eviction moratorium prohibits landlords from evicting tenants but the order will expire on December 31st. Certainly some concerns with what we're gonna see in December. Um, COVID is still happening, the impact of it's still happening. Um, we hope that there will be some other resources that come available, um, you know, some type of COVID response. Ricardo Coronado, Idaho News 6. And the Intermountain Fair Housing Council said they provided more than $20,000 to families for rent while joining efforts with the Idaho Immigrant Resource Alliance.